everyone. The new 2024 season of Doctor Who's out on Disney Plus. And this is essentially a Disney reboot, which means they have reset the season number back to one, which isn't actually that odd for Doctor Who since the series is more than 60 years old. And I think this might be the third time we've reset the clock back to season one. So Welcome to season one, episode two, The Devil's Chord, which is a clear follow-up to the unnumbered episode, The Giggle, which introduced Shudigatwa as the 15th Doctor. The Giggle was possibly the best episode of Doctor Who that we have seen in years, and The Devil's Chord doesn't waste any time in returning us to that story. And playing with the themes set up in the Doctor's epic battle with the toy maker. When an unassuming piano teacher introduces the concept of the devil's chord to his student, the combination of notes that he plays releases this new musical entity into the world named Maestro, who consumes all music and is bent on the utter destruction of the universe by making it go silent. This episode is a return to the clever and layered storytelling that Doctor Who fans love and expect from this series, even if it doesn't always hit all the notes perfectly. We get some bits of the Doctor's history and a peek into some iconic historical moments with the Beatles, when the Doctor and Ruby visit what will one day become Abbey Road Studios. But to steal a line from the singing icon Don McLean, this is the day that the music died. And the music we know isn't the music we get in this episode, which is a surprise to everybody, including the Doctor. Instead, we get a stark look at what humanity and the world looks like without music and it's not pretty in true Whovian fashion the doctor has a musical duel with maestro that is reminiscent of charlie daniels the devil went down to georgia which was a lot of fun however i do wish that they had done just a little bit more to level up the musical skill of both the doctor and maestro because if you're gonna nod to that musical duel from Charlie Daniels, you better be able to at least meet that level of musical talent in the scene because musicians are likely to raise a very skeptical eyebrow at what they get in this episode. Still, it's fun. And the doctor has some tricks up his sleeve, which keeps the action moving forward, which is great. What I thought was particularly well done was establishing the feeling of a musicless world. And so when Ruby plays, so when we hear Ruby play the piano, it is this poignant moment in a world starved for the sound of beauty. I also thought the conversations with John Lennon and Paul McCartney were really well done especially the scene with, I think it was Paul talking about the notes that he can almost hear in the back shadows of his mind, notes that he can't quite bring out. Episode two also shares a few new clues about Ruby that are really quite interesting and very serious. So serious enough to make Maestro pause in what they're doing and share a few additional clues of their own about the toy maker's minions who are definitely coming for the doctor. Contrasting that ominous vibe is this sassiness that exudes from Maestro. And you can't help but to love their campy demigod style. We really get the sense that while the doctor is kind of terrified of Maestro, because of their connection to the toy maker, they aren't worried at all about the doctor. 
And that is actually a really refreshing take on a Doctor Who villain. Instead, my show is fun and playful and wickedly cruel at the same time. If Maestro is the first of the Toymaker's minions that we see this season, I can only imagine what the rest of the team looks like. It's a great setup for the season arc and the inevitable march toward unraveling Ruby's parentage and the mystery of her birth. There are a lot of clues and Easter eggs in this episode that I am intentionally not mentioning to avoid spoilers. However, you can feel the game at play that was clearly set up by the toy maker before he was banished in the Giggle episode. More to the point, we can already see the story layer starting to take shape with Ruby's mystery and the universe's inevitable slide into the pit. The Toymaker's game at work, and of course, the minions who are all coming for the Doctor in the Monster of the Week structure that's been set up. The episode was fun, and it was lively, and there's some real Doctor Who magic that shines through during moments like when the Doctor and Ruby are dancing across the Abbey Road crosswalk, during the musical duel. And when Maestro senses something deeply troubling about Ruby. Following on the much less memorable episode one called Space Babies, which I'm not reviewing, The Devil's Chord feels like this is the episode where the new series finds its rhythm. I look forward to seeing what's in store for the rest of the season, and I can't wait to talk to you about it. So, did you watch The Devil's Chord? What did you think? Did you feel like it hit the right notes or landed flat? I know I'm making some musical buttons here, but I would really love to know what you thought. So please do leave a comment and also be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more. Also, if you haven't watched my review of The Giggle, there will be a link to it right here. Thanks everyone. Happy viewing. I'll see you later. Bye.